for today's topic, I'm in the studio with Pastor Joel Daly. Joel, today we're talking through a training topic. We're going to talk about discipling through topics seven through nine. And of course, what we're talking about here is in the pursuit, people who have gone through topics one through six already with a group or someone that they're mentoring, maybe even with their family. Now they get down to this section that we call honoring God. Yeah, so in this honoring God section, we're going to talk through three important topics of a new life, good habits, and core doctrines that all Christians have around the world. And this is really after you've trusted Jesus, this is the next step and really what your life is going to look like as a Christian. So let's drill down on these topics here, Joel, and let, let's talk about this for uh, the person who is mentoring someone through this topic. We're talking here in topic number seven about the role of the Spirit, the role of the Bible, and the role of other believers. What is a mentor's goal, Joel, in this topic? Yeah, so a natural follow-up to trusting in Jesus is, is that we are new creations, our life is going to look different, and really what we want to do in this topic is help people to see the importance of uh, having outside help. But you can't do it on your own. We need the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, we need the Bible, and we need other people to help us to honor God. Now, this one here is sort of a 50,000-foot view of the issue, topic seven is. But Joel, when they get to topic number eight, which we've titled Good Habits, we're talking here about what's called spiritual disciplines. And we've got five of them that we've listed here. And for some people, this is going to be new information. For a new believer, this topic is really, really important. Uh, but for someone who's been a Christian for a long time, they might want to skip this topic. They think they already know it. Yeah, so these habits are for all Christians at all times, but for a newer Christian, you as the mentor might want to focus on the first two, maybe three habits uh, very intensely at the beginning, because really the Bible, prayer, connection with other people, those are foundational to our faith. And, and then for a longer time believer, you might want to focus more on the last three or the last two, which is giving and mentoring. But really, these five habits are something that every Christian, no matter how long they have been a follower of Jesus, should be practicing on a consistent basis. Okay, so that's topic number eight. That's about spiritual disciplines. And then, Joel, the last topic in this section is what we call core doctrine. And this is where we talk about some of the doctrinal issues that you know most Christians have believed in for millennia. So looking at the pursuit, we've already covered quite a bit of doctrine, you know, who Jesus is, who we are as people. And so in this last topic in the Honoring God section, we're really going to delve into what I like to call the die-fors um, of doctrine, because we have the Bible, uh, which is the Word of God. That's something that is so foundational to our belief system. We have the Trinity, which is so important to our belief system and who God is. And so these are the things that, that are just really foundational to your faith um, as a Christian. And, and it's understanding these things that are going to help you honor God. Now, if you want to dig a little bit deeper on doctrine, and maybe you can do this, you know, right after topic nine, or maybe when you finish up the pursuit, go up to categories, go down to faith and go to theology. And you'll see there on our theology category page, you can dig deeper on all of this, New Testament, Old Testament, God and Trinity, creation, eternity. So don't feel like you are only ever going to give doctrine based on topic number nine in the pursuit. There's so much more to pursue God for that. Anyway, Joel, thanks for walking us through this topic, discipling someone through topics seven through nine. Now go ahead and use the questions down below. Talk about this with a coach or with your trainer, and then make sure to pray before you start this next section in the pursuit. Pray that God would open the eyes of the person you're mentoring to really understand this part of pursuing God.